to another episode of Entrepreneurs in Fuego. We're documenting the journey of amazing entrepreneurs such as Landis Owens. Look at you, man. You're all buffed up, oh, man. Absolutely. You're just swollen everything, man. How you doing, Landis? <laughs> yeah, good, all right, good, man. Good. All right, all right. All right. Tell us a little bit about what you do, man. Uh, I'm a personal trainer down in Tempe. Uh, I've been training for the last 16 years. I've done, I uh, work for Pure Fitness. But, you, but you've worked out forever. Well, yeah, I've been working out since I was 15 because I was a three-sport athlete. I knew that. So I was a three-sport athlete since I was 11. Um, then I got I was all state in football. And then I ended up working for Pure Fitness for about 10 years, learning how to run their system, run on a business. They taught a lot of core structure, keeping yeah. your lower back, posture straightened up, yeah. keeping your abdominals strong. Right. And while I was working there, I did uh, eight bodybuilding shows. You know, I had to get on stage with everybody. <laughs> now they're number one. <laughs> How's that getting on the stage, man? Your little feet are there, oh, just puffing up and everything else. And it's a life-changing experience because once you get to the end, it's all about what you made the choices to do. And every time you win or lose, you're changing something about yourself. I was going to say, that, that preparation, it's a lot here, right? Well, yeah, it's, it's, more, it's your food that's going in your mouth because the food you put in your mouth trains your brain. Is it you, right? Yeah, because if you ain't putting the right food in your mouth, then your brain is going to drain. And, but but it, it requires an incredible amount of discipline. Yeah, that's incredible. food too. Yeah. If you ain't eating right foods, you can't think through being disciplined. And when you t I'm just hearing you're clicking. Please don't click the pen. Oh, okay. oh. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're live, we're that's live, it. we're live. So that's we, can, we continue going. So For sure. we're, talk, we're talking about um, the discipline that you have to have yeah. in order to you know, do that. Stay on the course. Stay on the course and everything else. Yes. Uh, the discipline comes from the food, the desire, the want to be better health, to want to have a better heart rate, to want to have better flexibility, to want to be able to live. My goal is to teach people to be able to last your whole day throughout what you go through. Because by the time you get up in the morning to the time you're working, to the time you do your, do your activities to pay your bills, can you go home at the end of the day and watch your favorite TV show without bobbing your head to go to sleep? And then the actual object, if you can't able to do that, you actually want to be able to walk yourself to bed. Because then if you're able to walk yourself to bed, you're able to lay down and then the next morning, are you able to wake up without the press snooze or wake up through an alarm clock? Well, I've been in it so long, I now can get out of the bed without having an alarm clock or wake me up, I just wake up and get ready to go. Because if you have those things waking you up, that means you're not getting enough calories in, that means you're not enough getting enough energy out. And it, like, lately, the biggest thing that people have to understand out there is the only good sugars you're getting is from fruits and vegetables. Everything else is killing our bodies and draining us internally. Dead, it's just processed and, and all yeah. that stuff, and it's killing you. Anything that comes in a bag, I say, it's probably not that good. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> there ain't no good in that one. Absolutely not. So, but you know, he, here's where I find the, the, the disconnect, yeah. Landis, and you got to help me with this. We know that 80, 85% of your diet uh -huh. your, or your transformation yes. is nutrition, right? Yes, we absolutely. know that. Yes. Everybody knows that. Every, but what is it about not being, if we know that already, what is it about come 6.30, 7 o'clock, 7.30 at night, I'm opening up a bag of Doritos? What stops me from doing that? Your children watching you eat because you're teaching them a bad habit. And by teaching your children how to eat right, it enables you to eat right because you can't be an example teaching bad habits. You're saying that you have to find the motivation on those you, that you affect directly. Yes, because otherwise you're teaching your kids how to be going in obesity. You're teaching your kids how to eat high sugars. You're teaching your kids how to eat high salts. You're teaching your kids how to do all bad habits. And then you wonder why the middle bill's high. You wonder why they're having to go to the hospital all the time. You wonder why they're sick all the time. You wonder why their immune system low because when you're eating junk food or like the world's biggest thing that everybody loves today is coffee but they just real like coffee's killing you because coffee has no minerals or nutrients inside of it it just drains your immune system it breaks down your immune system so if you're standing next to somebody you can be infectious and catch diseases and next thing you know you're sick and out of work for a week I'll so how are you going to make up that pay? <laughs> I, I watched a video the other day. Um, it was uh, a video of Woodstock back in the 60s. Yeah. And you, and, you know, they're panning on the video and the people that you see there, they're all skinny. Yeah. They're, you know, with a very few exceptions that you see an overweight person. They don't have cell phones. They don't have cell, cell phones. phones TVs, no, you know, computers. The, 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 you know, the yeah. process, the Monsantos of the world that were yeah. not around at that. Yeah. I mean, they were not feeding us all the, all the synthetic yeah. process. And then I'm looking at a, another concert. Uh, the other day, I forgot what it was, and then you can see the difference in the body composition, yes. the body type, like, yes. scary! Well, because we didn't, also, we walked a lot more. 
We walked, we ran, everybody rode, rode bikes back in those days. There wasn't many cars around. And if you had a car, it was pretty much too expensive to afford. And most of us back in the day, we ran, jumped, and walked a lot more. And plus, out in the world, it's, more, it's not so trustworthy to be outside anymore. You right. know what I mean? Because you never know who's going to walk up to you, who's going to come bother you. But a lot of reasons back in the day that all of us stayed in shape is because you had Jacqueline, Bruce Jenner. Oh, yeah. And then the fact that we, Bruce Jenner. Who's that? We don't know who he is anymore. <laughs> God bless him. Hey, yeah. hey, God bless him. American folk giggles has left come on, us. Oh man, you were you were you were just the best athlete in the yeah. world, man. Yeah, and that's that's what I always lived off of. And plus, I was an athlete who trained themselves. You know, what I mean, I wasn't growing up around a gym. I didn't grow up with a trainer. I pretty much read books. And plus, I was a chubby fat kid, so I had to change that because I went from uh, I was a kid that people always didn't like. They were asking me, "How can you not as hot as your brother?" How are you not as good looking as your brother? Well, that's terrible to say yeah. to a kid, man. Or, you know what I mean? Or, I must have just, ah. Oh, stuck you in the heart always. Or my friends didn't come to get me. Or my friends didn't play with me. Those type of things. And then as I got older, I ended up getting up to 260 because I could put away a 20-piece chicken big nuts in four Big Macs in one setting. And then when, <laughs> when, when that began to happen and I couldn't get no attention, I got into bodybuilding and I went one whole year with eating healthy. I would take my ground meat. Did you know that if you rinse out ground meat and water and drain out all the blood that comes healthy protein. No, I did not know. Yeah, they, but they don't. The grocery store isn't going to tell you that. Oh man, we then, learned a lot of the tricks, man. <laughs> yeah, Taylor, Taylor's into all kinds of nutrition <laughs> and food and eating good, man. Taylor. Yeah, and well, well the, point, the biggest thing is that me eating good helps my comprehension. Makes me aware, makes me learn better, makes me stay stability, and makes me wake up less tired because of, without eating healthy, you can be dumbfounded. And plus, I don't like driving down the street, getting sleepy, and almost getting in an accident. You know what I mean? Because a lot of the foods they feed you within five seconds of getting in your car, if you're not in shape. Your body's gonna get drowsy, you drained, and then now you're gonna be like, bobbing your head like, can I make it home? And plus, I wanna live to be 220. Nice, I like that. <laughs> 220, not 120, but 220. 220, 220. absolutely. 220. So, you get into this personal training, you got your fitness studio, which is phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, people that find you is because you have a distinct advantage. You do things differently. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do do differently because a lot of the gyms I'm around, yeah. they're just memberships. Where at my gym, we're going to teach you about nutrition. We're going to teach you about a track your workouts, yep. have a tracking system. Then I teach you, teach you about stretching, which everybody's lost. I don't know where they lost their mind at, but stretching's number one. And then the fact of every time you go in the gym and do cardio, People don't realize that the equipment you're using within the first month is already wear and tear it out. Because if you have 10 people using the same equipment in a day, Just by the end of the, month, end of the month, you're not getting that same power resistance. Yeah. That's why it's better for some people to go to personal training studios because their equipment isn't worn out and torn out and you're getting that same fact results that's down the road, you're gonna see that change. And if you're working out every day, you should wake up to change. Landis, man, you're the man. Man. Absolutely. You're the man, brother. How do we find you? Uh, I'm on 2200 South, excuse me, 1050 East Southern, uh, suite number four on the southwest corner of Rule and Southern, right down the street from ASU. And you open the weekends, you open? So seven days a week. I don't want to do anything else. <laughs> that's, see, that, that's what I'm talking about, because yeah. that's a man who's got passion for what he's doing, yes. enjoys it, and wears his brand. Because you're your brand, right? Yeah, absolutely. If you were walking around and you're just oh, waddling around in oh, here yeah. and just going, hey, I can, I can train you, I can train you. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't wait to get these t-shirts. <laughs> I said I couldn't wait. I had to, I was like, kept on them. When they coming in? When they're coming in? Can I come down, can I come down and work out with you? Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you're ready. I'm ready now. Yeah, we can I'm sign, now, you, we can sign you up anytime. <laughs> but technology, I can sign somebody up in a grocery store, bookstore, anywhere I'm at. That's what I'm talking absolutely. about. Absolutely. Land this over. Absolutely. With that, we're out.